，那是谁？那是我们老师。他是哪国人？他是中国人。我们老师都是中国人。我叫奥贝迪杨布，我是卢旺达人。I'm thirty three years old, and、uh, I'm a business person who love agriculture. A few years ago, Obed wouldn't have imagined any connection with Junsao technology. At that time, he was facing the prospect of graduating into unemployment. His father has passed away, and his family relies on his mother and sister for farming, while his younger brothers are still in school. Obed often worried about the future. Because I'm the eldest in the family, my family needs me, needs my support. So at the beginning, it was challenging. Obed owns an agriculture company that, after four years, has shifted from selling mushrooms to producing high-tech mushroom substrates. With the growing market demand, he is glad about his initial choice. In 2019. Obed bought a few imported mushroom substrates by chance, and grew mushrooms for the first time. At that time, Rwanda relied almost entirely on expensive imported edible fungi, which gave the accounting professional a sense of business opportunity. Why should we import raw materials where we can use even the locally found materials? If I produce them by myself, that profit I would keep it by myself. With limited information and great enthusiasm, Obed began exploring homemade mushroom substrates using local crops. Obed experimented with local crops such as corn stalks and elephant grass, but couldn't find the ideal option. Until one day, he suddenly realised that the answer was right in front of him. With its suitable climate and abundant rainfall, Rwanda is known as the land of bananas. The mountains are covered with endless banana groves. Obed began a new round of experiments, exploring whether the abundant banana leaves could be used as substrate material. So I started searching on the internet, seeing how to chop, how to make them. Started I tried it, I tested that, and it worked. Banana leaves, as a type of Junsao material, become soft when wet. Reducing the risk of contaminating substrates from punctures. Despite this, Obed still maintains strict standards for cutting. <laughs> With fresh, ample materials, the next step is to incubate the dream. The ultimate results of the formula test will be revealed with time.
At the beginning, my family didn't love it. They think I was supposed to go to white collar job. Then up to now they say, oh, you can do whatever because you have seen it trying new things and being successful. It's going to come in. That uh, the market appreciated the quality of our mushrooms. Before the production level was uh, 3,000 tubes per month. We are now uh, quite confident that uh, we are targeting making it 6,000. Just as Obed was feeling confident, an unexpected event caught him off guard. A new batch of mushroom substrates developed significant mold issues. If the mold problem worsens, it could not only affect profits, but also damage his commercial reputation. Whenever he faces a bottleneck, Obed thinks of the Chinese scientist who inspired and motivated him. to watch videos of Professor Regency. Uh, saying that uh, they helped many people in Ningxia province, many people in Africa, South Africa. Right? I was like, one day we go to China. Blamed to come to China to see how they do it practically. After considerable effort, Obed finally obtained the opportunity to attend a Junsao technology training program in China, arriving at the very place where the technology originated. It's really amazing to come here. We visited many companies with many varieties of mushrooms, with many machines. And the more important trade, I finally met a Professor Jansi. It was really exciting. I train them so that they get the tubes to plant. Meeting his idol face to face and obtaining his contact information thrilled Obed. <laughs> During his time in China, Obed systematically studied Junsao technology and, with expert guidance, further improved the formula for his homemade mushroom substrates. My dream is uh, to make my country a role model in Africa so that uh, in uh, years to come, people will come to learn from Rwanda. What I'm going to do now, make sure that too many young people who will get inspired by me, like I get inspired by Legendary. CGTN Radio. Hear the difference.